The following program is brought to you by Christ Apostolic Church, Wilson. gentlemen empowering the world through the word that is what we do and that's why we have come up with this new book called the way it is a bible study material some people use it for daily devotional in the family cell groups churches schools one of the comments here on the back of the book says this book is awesome educational and inspirational let me just tell you in this book you will find such topics as the underestimated link to open heaven challenges to the changes that are necessary for one's life and preparation that lasts beyond generations definitely there are more topics in the book you've got to have it and you will be glad you did to God be the glory. Welcome to the way of God. I've always told you, the way of God is the word of God. So there is no other story to tell you today, but the word of God. That is the story that I bring to you, and that is life. That is the truth. I am Pastor Abraham of Badare, and I have a special guest with me here at the studio today. I know you will be blessed as you begin to hear the truth of the word of God through this servant of God and he is no other person than my very own friend and the pastor of Christ Apostolic Church Wilson in Brooklyn, New York, Pastor Shola Adeoye. Welcome sir. Welcome. God be with you. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you for God taking your time to be here with us today. Uh, I know that God has something that he wants to uh, share with his own people. And uh, there's no doubt at all that each time God shares, yes. uh, we, we, we become liberated. Yes, so. yes. yes. Uh, please tell me a little bit about your ministry, just uh, for the uh, people out there to uh, get to know about your ministry. Maybe some live close by. Or... <laughs> yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, uh, for the benefit of people that are home listening to us at this time, uh, my name is Pastor Shola Adeoye with the Christ Apostolic Church Wosem in, the, in Brooklyn. Uh, the address is 611 Williams Avenue in Brooklyn, New York City. Uh, the phone number is 347-404-7816. Or probably you can give us a call on my cell phone, 405-550-5135. Brooklyn, uh, CAC Wosem is actually the place to be because in Brooklyn, we are family. Hallelujah. Uh, we fellowship together okay. in the world mm -hmm. and we visit people. We mingle together, the young people mingling together with the adults. Mm -hmm. And we're actually making things happen. Yeah. So I believe you're going to be blessed if you fellowship with us. Thank you, Pastor. I, 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 I think that it's God's will that we live together as family. As family. Right? And if we can understand the concept of being together as family, as one, yes, we will uh, please God. And what we are here to do on earth is to please God, yes, to bring pleasure to God. And God being one with his own son, Jesus, yes. he would love us to be one with him. With him. Yes. And this tallies with the topic of today. We're going to use the, the man, Joseph, the man we call the father of Jesus. Mm. We're going to use him as a character study, okay. and we're going to see oneness. We're going to see how he, how he managed his own family, how he, he survived the pressure that came on him, a young man, um, never been married before <laughs> and uh, the first time he would get exposed to anything called marriage it was problem mm. right yes. but how did he survive it how did he manage it could we could we map our own lives uh, in the pattern 
that this man used. Pastor, before we start looking deeply into the life of this man, Joseph, the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 says that uh, man ought to love his wife, his wife. and uh, uh, the type of love that man ought to have for his wife is one that can be likened to the type of love Christ, Christ has, has for, for the church. For church. Yes. <laughs> now, sir, help us out. Mm -hmm. How can I as a man love my wife as the as as Christ loves the church. the church how help us to understand that now um let's go to the beginning the foundation when God created marriage mm -hmm. the union between a man and a woman mm -hmm. uh, he said for this cause the man will leave his father and his mother mm -hmm. and cleave to his wife and the two of them will become one flesh yeah that means that is you and Christ Loving the church, the church is a part of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. It's the body of Christ, his own body. Mm -hmm. So he's loving his own self. That's what the Bible is saying. Okay. That is, if you love your hand so much, you don't uh -huh. want it to get into fire, mm -hmm. then you're loving your wife just like that. Christ loved the church because church is the body of Christ. He doesn't want the church to go to hell. Wow, Pastor, wait right there. I, I, I just never saw it that way. Folks, um, <laughs> I, I hope you heard that. That, okay, okay. Christ, it's easy for Christ to love the church because the church is his body. His body. All right. So it ought to be easy for me to love my wife for you to love your wife yes. for the men out there to love their wives because as long as we see our wives as part of us our own body yes it's easy to love them. very easy so it's not a difficult task no matter that god is asking us to no it's just like wow. in the beginning when god created man he took a rib out of the man yeah that means the woman came out out of the man. so when you rub the cream on your body uh -huh. trying to make yourself look good yeah you're actually doing it to make sure you look good. So automatically there's another part of you that is physical, that, is, that you can see, happens to be your wife. So the part that's been taken out of mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. to make the woman, you must as well take care of that body too, because it comes out from you. So the way your own body looks, the wife must look, must look the same. You know, that's why when you see uh, the picture of a woman and a man, mm -hmm. a married man. Mm -hmm. The woman always wants to bury herself on the side mm -hmm. where she came from mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Every time you look at a picture, mm -hmm. you see a man and a woman, she's always gravitating towards that the side, side where she came from. She knew she's part of you. Mm -hmm. You are part of her too. Mm -hmm. You hold her to yourself mm -hmm. and she fits into where she came out from. Wow. This is a matter of love. It's a matter of understanding um, who that woman is to you. We're talking about Joseph today, uh, a man that we men of today ought to emulate. emulate. But uh, as we begin to open up the life of this man, Joseph, the father of Jesus uh, in the flesh, as we know it, we realize that we need to start from the point of love. Of love. And God is love. Yes. And now, how Christ could love the church, you're telling us that he, he sees the church as his body. Yes. So, every man out there, think about it for a minute. Who is your woman to you? Is she someone that just came from Guatemala? Mm. Uh, just uh, a, another human being, a strange person that you met uh, who came from uh, Costa Rica or came from somewhere in Africa or Europe or Asia, uh, 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 a life partner that um, maybe, uh, well, I, I guess I can, manage, I can manage the rest of my life with this one mm. or somebody who's just going to help me out or, or what. Uh, is that who 
your woman is to you or is she someone that is part of you, of you. your body so it becomes easy for you to love no, i believe this is the question no, no, God, uh, let me Show a little bit more light into, yeah, yeah. into this discussion. You see, that there are three wills of God. Mm -hmm. The first one is the good will of God. Mm -hmm. Then we have the permissive will mm -hmm. and the perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. You see, when the good will of God is for all of us to prosper. Yeah. Have your own wife, have your own husband, mm -hmm. have your own children. Yeah. Flourish, you know, prosper in the land. Mm -hmm. The permissive will is God wants me to marry this light in complexion woman. Mm -hmm. But I say, no, I want this black woman. So God said, okay. And God said, okay. <laughs> he who finds a wife, mm -hmm. finds a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's what you want? Mm -hmm. So be it. So he allowed it to happen, mm -hmm. but you are going to bear the consequence mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of whatsoever happened. Mm -hmm. You cannot go to God like Adam did. Yeah. Adam was able to confront God and yeah. say, it was the woman you Just gave you me. me. <laughs> right. And I believe that was the reason why God killed the first animal. <laughs> and then he covered their nakedness because he felt responsible. I gave him the woman. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean it was a permissive will. I believe God would have left them alone. Yeah. You know, but now we have the perf perfect will of God. The perfect will of God is that when you pray to God and God said, this is your wife, the bone of your bone, the flesh of your flesh, and you say, thank you, Jesus. And you marry that woman. Whatever happened in that relationship, yeah. it's on God. It's on God. It's on God. Ha! If it is on God, Joseph must have realized that. Now, um, this man, Joseph, about to get married, but didn't get married yet, yeah. really, to this young uh, virgin, uh, Mary. Oh, Mary, yeah. And now to find out that the, 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 I'm not married to you yet. What's going on? You're already pregnant. pregnant. What are we going to do here now? Mm -hmm. uh, the way Joseph uh, dealt with the whole issue suggests to us that Joseph must have taken Mary to be the perfect will of God for him. And I must have taken Mary to be someone... Uh, in fact, a part of his body, his body that he was supposed to love. And then when we begin to break down love, I think, I'm not sure if this one program can uh, allow us to, be, to even attempt to define what, what love, love might be. But I see love, I see love, I see love, I see love in this man, Joseph. Joseph. Well, uh, Pastor, there is, a, there is a book in my hand. Yes, I got one too. <laughs> <laughs> one, all right. Uh, it's, it's called The Way. It is, uh, it's a devotional that is used all over the world. Uh, uh, some some uh, people use it in classrooms. Some people use it uh, in the family. Some in the church. It uh, doesn't matter how you want to use it. We can get a copy of the book. Uh, in your hands, call 718-658-8981. It's called The Way. So now we look into one of the chapters in the book, chapter number 25. It says, Joseph, a man worthy uh, of emulation. emulation. Yeah. Now, one of the first things, one of the first points made here yes. um, about Joseph is that he was a just man. Man, a man that was faithful to his family. his family, he lived as a just man. Okay, I understand that verse 19, Matthew chapter 1, verse 19 says that he was a just man. Just. But pastor, yes. what what's what's the what's the big deal about Joseph? What what why would you call him a just man? What made him just? Well, looking at the story, you just give us a little shot summary of what happened mm -hmm. right there in the bible and stuff. yeah but if we shed a little more light to this stuff you know you are, are actually excited you're like yeah i'm gonna get married yeah you know to this beautiful yeah. woman and stuff you met the family yeah you know you've been to the father the father said i'm warning you you need to take care of my daughter mm -hmm. and you made up your mind mm -hmm. i'm gonna take responsibility and um you're saving all your money mm -hmm. this man happens to be a carpenter yeah. He was making stools, tables, and everything. He was singing and polishing this stuff because he knew that one day my wife is coming. Mm -hmm. Let me save everything. Yeah. And then suddenly found out she's pregnant. She's pregnant. 
<laughs> you know, how many men nowadays will find out their fiancé is pregnant by another man and then still do exactly what you said? Just 17. It, it takes a man that is actually rooted in God to be a man that will react to a situation like that the way Joseph did. The Bible made us to know that Joseph said in his mind, mm -hmm. I'm not ready to disgrace this woman. That's love. A woman you love means that she has been a part of yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't want to ridicule yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men that goes all around oh, talking God. trash about their wives, yeah. they don't love their wives. In that aspect, you need to go back and sit down. Do I actually love this woman? Because when you go all around talking about your wife, talking rubbish about your woman, you know, disgracing her all around the place, that means you're selling her so cheap. And that means you're selling yourself too. Hi, I am Pastor Abraham Obadari, and I'm excited to invite you to worship with us at Christ Apostolic Church of America for a life-changing experience. Visit us at 10802 South Finn Boulevard, Jamaica, New York. Come as you are. First time visitors will receive a, a copy of my notebook for the word. You can call us at 718-658-8981. Hey David, a lot of my friends have been going through a lot of problems lately and I don't know what to do. I don't even know what to say to them and I've just been completely confused as to what to do. So do you have any suggestions? You know, it's funny that you talk about that because I was actually reading a book I think it's called a Chosen Minority. Okay. Yeah. What's it about? Yeah, it's Chosen Minority by Pastor Abraham. It talks about the problems that people have that have come from generations to past. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people don't even know what is causing their problems, they don't know what's happening. But then they find out through this book that the problems could have been caused by their family, their generations really? before. Yeah. Wow. So I think you should recommend this book to your friends and uh, hopefully they'll, their lives will change. Definitely. Can I see it? Thanks. Wow. I'm definitely going to do this. I'm going to recommend it. Call now, 516-860-5729. I repeat, 516-860-5729. That is out there. What the pastor is saying is when we as men begin to sell our women cheap, get it? You're, we are selling ourselves cheap. If we begin to disgrace our women, we're the ones that are being disgraced. Because get it, she's one and the same with you. With you. On, uh, until you get that as a man, until I understand that as a man, we begin to treat our women as if uh, um, they, they, as if we're... As if they're different from you. From, they're not different. Somebody you hire on the street, mm -hmm. live with me for 20 years. Yeah. I'll pay you mm -hmm. with a child. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, if it doesn't work, then, don't walk uh, away. I go my way. You I'm not going to stress myself. Wow. I'm not going to try. I just want a woman in my house to satisfy me on the bed, to cook my meals, mm -hmm. to have some kids for me if yeah. it's possible. Yeah. And after some time, if you cannot live with me yeah. anymore, the door. Right there. It's like saying if my heart can't live with me anymore, then, uh, you then I can like, throw, it throw it away. Yes. My, uh, I remember, so it doesn't make sense. I remember something uh, that you said some times ago that a man's supposed to be the brain of the head. Yes, I believe it so, so that surely. When the brain is not working right, the entire body will enter into the pit. Yes, sir. Because the eyes cannot see properly, mm -hmm. the nose cannot smell, mm -hmm. the mouth cannot bite, yeah. then the leg is not moving right. Yeah. Automatically, the whole body, including the brain, mm -hmm. will be found inside the girl the next day. Wow. And that's what it is. Joseph happened to be the good brain. He was the good brain. He realized mm. that this woman is part of me. When they put her outside and stone her to death for life, I People will shame. see Joseph and say, oh, that's the husband of that woman. Mm -hmm. Likewise, men of nowadays, when there is issue in the family, Joseph did not report that case to nobody. We go all around, we report issues. Me and my wife were fighting. I don't know what is wrong with her. 
this, this, then the star guy will take it to another guy, mm -hmm. to another guy. Mm -hmm. Before you get to know it, everybody knows and about And no it. one will give us godly counsel. No, they want your marriage to crumble. Right. They want you to be like them. Mm -hmm. But Joseph went to sleep on the case. How many people will go to sleep with kind of trouble like that? So that means there's something inside of them. Yeah. Put them to sleep at night, even though there is a situation that is above his control. He went to sleep and the angel of God wow. appeared unto him because his heart was at rest. He's waiting for God to manifest. May you find grace, all of you out there, may you find grace to wait on God mm. when you're facing difficult situations. May you find wisdom to know how to handle situations as pertaining to your family. Mm. May you know who your wife is to you, who God meant your wife to be to you. To be. May you understand it. May you begin to walk in wisdom. May we begin to walk in wisdom so that God can record concerning us that we are just Men, just men, just men, right men, right. men in their right senses, men who can go to sleep and wait on God. On God, how is God going to handle this? Men who can do that, okay. Pastor. There's another one that is written here, yes, powerful. It says, uh, 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 Joseph was a kind of man who keeps family secrets. I think you yeah. mentioned that, yes, he, yeah. he wasn't a uh, 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 like mama's boy. boy. No. Yeah. No. Uh, let me just give you a testimony. Okay. I, I used to be that guy. Okay. And uh, growing up and stuff, and I close to my mother. Yeah. Every time something happened, I go to my mom. So I got married. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife seems to be more mature than I. Mm. And uh, when we have misunderstanding, I rush straight to my mom. I say, Mom, this happened again. <laughs> like, what? Let's go there. Yeah. And then when we get there, my wife would be like smiling and greeting my mom. Hi. And my mom said, oh, I'm here because of the issue. I said, oh, no issue. And then she would tell me to be like a stupid <laughs> man. So I sit down there and I'll be watching like, right? she's acting. <laughs> mom, she's acting. And then she'll keep on smiling and then she'll come over and hug me. Oh, God. And then she'll sit next to me and say, Mommy, don't worry. It's just it's go home. Uh, and when my mom leaves, she was like, I was thinking this is just between me and you. Let's settle it between us. Wow. And then the second time, third time, I would still go to my mom. So one day, it happened again. I was on the way to my mom. Mm -hmm. And I got to the road, and I sat down by the, by the way with one woman selling granite. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, I don't want to feel like that anymore, going to my mom. And my mom would end up coming in, and then my wife would act like nothing happened and stuff. Why don't I go home and settle this stuff myself? So I stood up, and I went back home. And I said, honey, I said, if I've done anything wrong, please forgive me. And she said, oh. I've already forgiven you. Wow. So, but you know what? Every time anything happens like that, let's always talk about it. That's where communication is mm. in marriage. Let's talk about it. Just like the book, let's talk let's about talk it. Let's talk about it. Wow. Let's talk about it. Man, uh, we pray for you that the Spirit of God will get involved in your situation. Yeah. Have you s thought of your marriage as uh, one that can never work? Are you about to, to throw in the towel and say, forget it? Are you about to just kick that woman out and say, well, I don't know whatever got me into your life or what got you into my life. We speak the word of courage to you today. The, the man, Joseph, that, that Jesus uh, 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 used uh, uh, and, and respected as his father, that man lived a life that you and I can emulate. A life that depended on God because it wasn't right to find his wife to have been pregnant while he wasn't responsible. It wasn't right, but he still found a way around it. He was calm enough for the Holy Spirit to come and mm. talk, to him. talk to him. And when the Holy Spirit began to minister to him, Pastor, this young man accepted he it. He believed God. He believed God. Would you believe God to help you solve the problems? 
in your marriage. Pastor, our time is up, but yes. maybe just another minute or so, I'd like you to please uh, maybe uh, make uh, some final comments to yes. encourage all men out there that are finding it rough in their marriage. Well, um, you see, life is not always a bed of roses. Mm -hmm. There's always hopes and down mm -hmm. in marriage. You know, when you are living your life, you're married, there will always be ups and downs. But the only solution is taking it to God, allowing Jesus to be the head of the home. All right. When Jesus is the head of the home, he's going to make sure everything goes right. Your wife and yourself, you guys are from different backgrounds. But Jesus is the only super glue. All right. That can glue us together. He can glue us together. God took the rib out. Jesus brought the reef back together. Hallelujah. And it's going to super glue it mm -hmm. and to fit where it's supposed to be and all shall be right. Amen. And I believe if you can depend on Jesus, if you can lay that foundation, your marriage upon the Lord Jesus Christ, everything shall be well with you. Amen. Amen. You just heard that. Everything shall be well with you. Let's finish with that scripture again. Ephesians 5, 25, that man love your wife as Christ loves the church. And the only way that this can be simple for you to do is to accept your wife as someone who is part of your body. If he's part of, she's part of your body, you are going to love your body, right? You're not going to hurt your body, so you won't hurt that woman. You are going to love her. You are the brain. And she is the remainder of the part of the body. To God be the glory. Pastor Shola, thank you so much for taking time to share this wonderful word with us. I pray that all the families out there that uh, have had the opportunity to listen, that uh, God will minister grace to them and so that they can understand what love so is about. all about. Thank you. Yes, I hope you will uh, stay around for another segment of this program because I'm enjoying it. Thank, <laughs> Thank you God. so much for coming. Thank you. To God be the glory. This has been the way of God. We will see you um, uh, over the next program by the grace of the Lord Jesus. Your home will work. Mm -hmm.